everyone, my name is Ashani and I am a member of Arjuna School Alumni Association. I'm also an online student of N. Prabhakar Sir. Today, I'm going to talk about my journey to Thailand. Thailand, a place all about beaches, its beauty and its tourism. It also has a cultural side that we might touch in one of, in our videos. Day 1 Christmas Day or 25th of December, Sunday. Can anyone imagine that waking up in a flight 6 a.m. in Indian time and just looking at that beautiful sunset? Well, I guess I've done it. <laughs> the first picture is what it shows. A beautiful sunset from the window of my airplane before reaching Thailand. Next, we reached Thailand or Bangkok and I got to know that we're not gonna be exploring Bangkok right now. We're directly all going to Pattaya. So we got on a bus and we said bye bye to our beautiful Thai airplane, which I have taken a photo of, and also bye to the airport, which was really pretty from the outside as well. Next stop was Pattaya. We went to Pattaya and we saw many new things, which I'll be talking about later in the video. We got down at our hotel, checked in, took a few photos, because why not? And then we came to came out and we wanted to go to a special place. Can anyone imagine where it could have been? Tiger Park. A place where you can actually meet tigers. Like, come on. I thought that they were going to eat me. But no, they did not. Well, technically they did not. Because I went to the smallest tiger, which was a baby tiger. Which was just about like six to eight months. And it was very cute. Well, I did not expect it to look that cute. Okay, and it was very cute. And the thing is, um, they also show many other tigers, but they're not from my age. So I didn't go there. But they show many other tigers, which are like the biggest tiger, the smallest tiger. And then they have the newborns. They have small tigers, which are like three to five years. And then they have medium tigers and... A lot of tigers, okay? They have like an entire museum, but with the live ones. So the tiger park was a very new experience. As you can see in these photos, I've taken many photos. These are the pretty good ones. So um, me lying on the tiger, sitting on, um, posing with it and everything. You know, looking at these photos, sometimes they do seem like toys, but they were definitely not. It it was a very hard time to take photos because baby tigers or small tigers or smallest tigers are really hard to, you know, stay in a place. They just keep moving and moving and moving. Because if it was for the medium tigers or for the big tigers, they actually give them some um, medicine or something, an injection, which uh, gives them that sleepy moon and everything. But you cannot do that for smallest tigers and newborns. So it was very hard to take photos with it. But I got a photo, I got many photos, and they, they were so like very cute and the photo um this photo where i'm actually rubbing the tiger's belly the tiger is actually flipping over and it's telling me to rub its belly so it was a very good and weird experience at the same time because i saw a tiger for the first time in my life and more or less i actually touched it a lot so that was a good experience at tiger park Next, we went um, to Central Festival Mall, which is a very big mall in Pattaya, one of the big malls. And Central Festival Mall was very pretty. It was like around seven, eight floors, had a lot of things inside, but 
amal is amal i would say and another thing that i got to know in thailand after going to central festival mall is that actually there are many markets and bazaars bazaars in um india which are there in thailand in every mall so inside the mall also but outside there were so many bazaars stalls food eating areas big seating arrangements and everything but let's just see the next photo a grilled crocodile the um photo here shows a grilled crocodile a actual crocodile getting grilled and that's the head is actually real and um this was one of the stalls in central festival mall it was so shocking to look at a crocodile getting grilled uh when you're a vegetarian also and a non vegetarian also is coming from india so um i am a vegetarian so it was a shocking uh thing for me looking at a crocodile getting grilled in my face cuz i would have never expected that number 1 and number 2 i'm a vegetarian so it also creates a lot of weird sensation but yeah so thailand is very pretty it is it's sort of like it it doesn't sleep at night it's always having the lights the glittering and all the dances and everything but it's a little too much on its food side because they can they eat as they consume anything um like as i said crocodiles they consume squids octopus worms cockroaches anything so let's just uh, say the message that i got from day 1 was that india is actually not going on that extra uh, extra veganza part of it for non vegetarian food and that's all i want to say is that i just hope never in uh, that india should actually go to a part where we're grilling crocodiles and we're eating various different animals because not only does it impact the ecosystem and also breaks the food chain and everything so i do not want um india to have a year or a uh time in its entire lifetime that where we actually grill crocodiles and eat various other um different different plants like like things like squid and everything so that's all for today's video i'll see you guys in the next video thank you